sexy schoolgirl team and we're gonna be such badasses but we're gonna look really foxy and um like three of my friends wanted to join but I was the only one that stuck it out and it changed me more than I thought I was gonna change it for sure the only thing that makes us really different than every other iteration of derby that's ever existed like there have been authentic non-fake hit non-choreographed derbies before the only thing that makes us different is the ownership aspect all of the leagues that exist now are um, DIY skater owned cooperatives where each skater has a stake in the company and has to pay dues and has to, you know, be responsible for the financial side and the success of the league. And so I think that makes us want to make the game more authentic and work a lot harder because it's like, it's ours, you know, we own it. And, um, and that's the best thing about it. And this is the first year that Derby Leagues have been pulling in. Like Seattle pulled in over 5,000 people at their venue. Um, the other Denver League pulled in over 4,000. Minnesota's selling out at like 3,000. Like big crowds are coming for some reason. And I think it's because it's finally got to the point where um, the leagues are solid enough that everybody who gets out on the track in the higher ranked leagues is legit. They're pro, you know. I don't ever want to see us get paid. I love the ownership aspect. I'd like to see our expenses get covered. But beyond that, I love knowing that when I get out on the track, the only reason that that girl is there is because she worked as hard as me and she put as much money into it and she just wants to skate. Skaters, just keep 